Welcome to Prime Sports here on Joy News. Now, let's begin with the Black Stars. Their head coach is Otto Ado. He has a full squad for this evening's training session ahead of the friendly games against Brazil and Nicaragua. England-based duo Mohamed Salisu and Daniel Amate became the latest to join the squad after joining their teammates earlier on Tuesday. Goalkeeper Richard Ofori and striker Felix Afenajan had joined the rest of the squad a few hours earlier. This means Ado now has 28 players available for the Brazil game on Friday. The team is expected to train again tonight as preparations continue in earnest ahead of the game. Kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. on Friday with live commentary on 99.7 Joy FM. Meanwhile, new Black Stars defender Tariq Lamte says he cannot wait to make his debut. Lamte has received his first call up to the national team after completing a nationality switch to represent Ghana at the expense of England. We're really good. Um, training has been really good. It's good to get, get to know everybody. It's a very high quality here and we're, we're working hard in training to listen to what the coach has to say and looking forward to the game. Yeah, everyone's been fantastic. Everyone's been very welcoming, um, talking to everyone, getting to know everyone. Yeah, it's feels like a family here, so it's all good. Yeah, I'm very proud to be here, and I'm really just trying to train hard, give as best as I can for the team, and looking forward to the game on, the, on Friday. In this game, you have to just prepare really well. You prepare how you prepare to play, and we're all really excited and looking forward to, to playing against, against on the team on Friday. To be honest, I'm just really excited to come here and get, get to work now. And being here, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the game. All right, let's stay with the Black Stars. The assistant coach is George Watson. He's challenged uh, home-based players to compete for a place in the senior national team ahead of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Joy Sports, the former Aston Villa under-23 coach said no player is guaranteed a place in the team for the tournament. We find the next gem, the next Michael Asian, the next Steven Appiah, the next Asamo Jan. How can we find these players? Which is through our national team. Sometimes you don't need a player to have already a big name to be an outstanding player. You can find a gem. How many World Cup games have we seen? There's a, a player comes on the scene. I remember vaguely when I was young, a striker from, from Italy, Toto Scalacci, never heard of. And he came on the scene and started scoring goals. So it's the same with the local players here. We as staff are monitoring it really closely and we are watching to see who is capable of to join the team, to push some of these boys who are international level out of the squad. Now, what they need to do more, which I understand when you are a local player and you come with the Black Stars, uh, example, Thomas Pate is, uh, is playing for Arsenal, Emirates played for Atletico Madrid. He's a top, top player, right? So I can understand when a local player joins the camp and he sees Thomas, it's like, it, it, wow. They're starstruck. Yes, <laughs> yeah. you know, which is understandable. I think what we do very well as staff is we have individual chats with them, uh, especially the local players, and we try to give them the confidence that you are here not because by a merit, you are here because you've deserved it, you've earned the right to be here. Now go out there and enjoy yourself. Make sure that we see you. You do the right things at all times. All right, away from that, South Africa will be to stage the 2027 Women's World Cup, hoping to bring the event to Africa for the first time. South Africa was the first and so far the only country on the continent to host the Men's World Cup back in 2010. Uh, we caught up with South African women's football reporter Busisiwe Mokwena and started by asking her what inspired South Africa's decision to bid for the tournament. Mm -hmm. 